Um, well, again, I think it's uh, great for us to have the opportunity to line up against a, a team like Emporia. Um, obviously, Edwards, who is very, very dynamic and, and good, and we know Boston has the ability to really break you down off the dribble, and that's a very potent one-two combination there. And um, It's a basketball team that plays fast, shows a lot of dribble drive, and um, I, I think it was a very good experience for our, our defense uh, in particular uh, to line up against the team that uh, plays with the kind of aggressiveness that Emporia brought to the floor. Coach, uh, Kelsey in the offseason said that she wanted to, to really use that momentum that she had in the NCAA tournament and come back better than ever. How do you assess the way she played tonight and how she's come about the offseason? Well, I think she's been very solid and, um, you know, it's just – that's a great positive for us. I think um, she's learning to establish a feel and a rhythm out there in the offensive end of the floor and every possession we're all learning defensively. But I feel good about, you know, her carrying over the momentum and she's got a lot of strength uh, to her game. Um, obviously can shoot the three. So she's been uh, good for us in the early, early stages. That first half when she's kind of running the floor and kind of doing a lot of different things, is that what you kind of need out of her? Yeah, I, I think um, coming off of, you know, a season where we're losing deets, we're going to have to have good, aggressive um, play from our wings. And um, Kelsey is getting up and down well and, as I said, is, um, you know, stroking the ball well. And, and as we all gain a better understanding of the offensive end, um, I see good things just continue to build there. The shooting was much better tonight. I think our rhythm was a little bit better and we had a, a little bit better understanding of when and where shots were coming. We uh, provided a little more offensively for our players to do than we did in the last game, uh, which I think was another aspect of, of them feeling a little more comfortable with their three looks. So um, good conversion tonight, put pressure on the, on the defense and got some open look threes that uh, were in a little better rhythm and Converted. Coach, can you talk about six out of eight from the three-point area? Mm -hmm. Well, in the I, first half. In the first yeah, half. yeah. I, I, again, I think we um, we just had a really good feel um, of when those threes were coming. Good focus, and I think we do have really uh, the potential, whether it's Zanotti or Nelson or um, Alina um, or Kincaid. You know to put pressure on people. Shaylin's got a great three stroke. And so I think it's an area of their games that should be a strength. And hopefully uh, we can continue to build on it. And whoever has the hot hand that night, um, hopefully we'll put them in position to get those kind of looks. And what about Sweat? If she can keep doing what she's been doing these first two games, 19 again tonight, what has she been able to do inside that really does help open everything? Well, I, I think she's just um, playing at a speed um, that is um, allowing her to maximize. You know, uh, she's making quality decisions off the catch and um, reading her teammates well, and, and her teammates are, are finding her in, in um, you know, good post up and cut and pop scenarios. And she's so versatile, she's tough to guard. You know, it, it's, it's very, very. Um, tough to know how to defend Ashley Sweat. And once she's established timing and rhythm, uh, you see um, she's a great force offensively, and she's playing well off of her teammates, and they're playing well off of her. So I think those are, those are just great, great positives. And the other thing that both nights have taken note of is in her minutes, uh, last game was five rebounds, tonight it was four. And you know, if we can get and keep Ashley between five and six rebounds a game or more, then that leads to great things for us as well. Ashley, do you feel tough to guard at this point? I mean, compared to last year, how much is your game developed? Um, I think, you know, the older I get, you know, at practice it's more like, you know, the coaches are like, you know, take your time, you know, off the catch. You have so many options that you can do, you know, especially the way we play <coughs> offense. We have so many, you know, open offenses that aren't like, you're going to rigid spots and following like an exact structure, you know, we can, we're allowed to, you know, play and like improvise and that helps me a lot because that's how I like to play the game. And you know, when you have a point guard like Shaley and you have Marlise on the inside who's really versatile, 
it's just really hard to guard, and especially when you have like Kelsey and Shaylin and all those shooters on the outside, it's just a really tough offense to guard. For any of you, do you guys feel ready now to, to start the season? Did you accomplish what you need to get accomplished? Well, I think we got, uh, you know, I think I'd like to have about four more exhibition games just, you know, to really feel ready. But I'm probably not any different than any other coach in America right now when I say that. So it's time. You know, you take the next step. We're going to go on the road. Um, we obviously, um, I think, accomplished a lot of real positive things in our two matchups. We played quality teams. Um, we had some very high caliber pl players individually on the floor to compete against in these two games. I know our players will be very anxious for, you know, that that opportunity to step on the floor and, and really be tested at, at the next level, and it's it's just that time. So um, it was positive that we had an opportunity to get our younger players some minutes and some experience um, seeing things both offensively and defensively that hopefully um, when they do get an opportunity down the road will serve them well. Kelsey, can you, what, did you change anything that you did in terms of your approach in the offseason? You talked about last year at the tournament wanting to come back and prove that you can do that again and make a bigger contribution. I think it just comes down to you got to get in the gym. And I have a lot of things to work on, and I still have a lot of things to work on. Um, ball handling and just getting your shot off quicker. There's just always something to be in the gym working on, and so you just got to get in there and do it. Do you like the role you have in this offense now? Yes. I mean, it's, everybody has their own role, and so you just have to go out there on the court, and your role might be different every night, and that's the thing. And so you just have to go out there and figure out what you need to do that night. I mean, if your shot's going in, shoot. If it's not going in, you know, you might have to pick it up on defense a little bit more, you know, or be the passer. So it just depends on the night, and everybody can carry their role. Coach, you mentioned the shooting rhythm. Uh, there was a point in the first half where you guys hit four three-pointers in a row, and three of those came off the bench. Does that rhythm get any better than it was right there? No, I, I like that. You know, I'd love to see that every night. And, and um, I, I'm... I'm very encouraged by that because I think it, it shows that we have the potential for great success and depth there, and that's a big part of how we like to play, and it makes us hard to guard. So um, I, I felt very, very good about our perimeter shooting tonight and, and the rhythm, and I think we did have some growth offensively, even though we threw in some new looks over the course of the week, and we'll continue to, obviously, the entire preseason, but uh, our non-conference season. So. Um, our players are, I think, really special in their ability to take in a lot and process it. And while it may not always be pretty in the early stages, um, they tend to pick things up pretty quickly.